Hey friends, welcome back to Homeschool Ology. If you're a subscriber, welcome back. Thanks for joining me today. If you are new here, my name is Nikki. I'm a homeschooling mom of four. I've got a seventh grader, third grader, and five and three year old who are doing a combined pre-K level this year. Um, and then on this channel, I talk to you guys about secular homeschooling mostly, but also a little bit about motherhood, having a larger family, traveling with a larger family, and everything in between. So today's video is part of my series of the like plan with me or choose with me, research with me series that I've been doing. So as you can tell, I haven't landed on a name yet. <laughs> but anyways, today's video is going to be um, science. And I am going to be talking to you about guys about what I'm looking at as far as like science choices for our secular science choices for our upcoming school year. have one, two, three that I'm looking at, and then I have a couple of honorable mentions um, that I'm going to talk about um, for you guys that I, that is kind of what I have on my radar right now. So first up, Pandia Press, um, Science Odyssey. I, we started using on the astronomy level last year. We used level one and two for my, this one for my youngers, this one for my oldest, and we did them together. I really liked that system. That's, that worked well for us. Um, the, I felt like the labs in this book were a lot better than the labs in this book. Not necessarily, these seemed really complicated, like, and if I had more time, the problem with, the problem for me is, time. Um, I didn't necessarily have the time I needed to commit to these labs. So basically what we did was with the labs from this book, um, sorry for the glare, the labs from the level one. And then my daughter did the, um, the like writing, the reading and writing and stuff from level two. And that system worked well for us. The prob the only problem I had was that we weren't, we didn't get to it enough. Like it's a, it's a lot more than like my what I have typically done in the past. I think it's a great program. I really like it. It just is a bit more of a time commitment than we actually have to dedicate to in our from you know in our homeschool. It's a little bit more of a time commitment than I want. So that is the only reason I'm looking at maybe something different. Um, so that being said, I really do like it. I do have a video where I talked about how I'm combining levels one and two of astronomy. Um, it went well for us. We're still using it, actually. We're still in the middle of it. Um, so it did work well for us. I really do like it. All of that to be said, it was we just weren't getting to it. And so I'm going to be, I want to try to look and see if maybe there's something that we will get to a little bit more often. The next step that I'm looking at is mystery science. So I am going to give you a, um, I'm going to give you like a dual screen here. So let me set that up for you guys. Okay. So this was Pandia Press there. You can see that there are physics, chemistry, and earth and environment, as well as, um, the astronomy one that we are doing. So which they might have been, it might be earth and environment. Oh no, there's the astronomy one right there. So, and physics. So they have lots of options there. It's definitely easy to combine the first and the um, second level to do it as a whole family subject. Really like Pandia Press. But the next one that I'm gonna be trying, uh, looking at is um, Mystery Science. So Shauna over at Making Everyday Magic has some reviews of this Mystery Science. So I'll link some of her videos down in the um, description box for you guys. So. You, she, if you want a more in-depth look, you can go over there and look at those. But I have been looking at this. So in the past, we did use Generation Genius, and I used this book, The Everything You Need to Ace Science in One Big Fat Notebook. Love these books, by the way. Um, so I used this as kind of like my spine. It has chapters in here, or like sections broken down in here. So it, you know, we did a section on, oh, that's not, that's not the page I'm looking for. <laughs> here it is right here. So we did a section on motion and forces. So I, I just kind of followed this outline and found videos with that fit within this outline. I have a whole video on this. Um, I will link it where, a uh, new camera, so I don't know which side. Um, but I will link it for you guys. And I, we did love that, but we kind of like reached our max on Generation Genius as far as like we watched 
I probably could have gotten one more year out of it, but it wasn't going to like sustain us. Um, and so we didn't, we chose not to continue that and we chose to try the Pandia Press out. Um, and like I said, I did like this. I did like using this and doing Generation Genius. So I felt like maybe Mystery Science was going to give us a little bit more um, to like dive into, you know, kind of take it a little bit further than what the Generation Genius did. So still love Generation Genius. Still think it's great. Definitely try it out if you haven't, especially if you have like younger kids. It's great. Like it's really good. My kids really enjoyed it. Um, so, but... Mystery science is kind of one that's on my radar now, um, thanks to Shauna. And so I am maybe going to look into this one as well. Um, the price point is similar to what we paid for Generation Genius, but I feel like I would probably still use this this book as our spine to kind of, you know, decide which direction to go on because I don't know if they necessarily provide, like, lesson plans um, as far as, like, a scope and sequence. I don't know if they necessarily provide that because they are set up for a um, public school system you know so so that's on my radar that's one that I'm looking at if you've used it I'd love to hear your comments down below and then one other one that has kind of come across my I, I was this is okay so I was talking with a friend and I was like this is what I want I want something where I can pick and choose what order we want to go on go in because I like giving my kids a little bit of choice as to what we learn about I feel like they are more engaged and more excited to learn when they get choice in what they're choosing so I wanted to be able to choose what we were going to learn about. I want to use books, like, because we really love using, like, um, resource books and living books to learn about things. And so I wanted to be able to use that. And then I wanted, but I wanted it laid out for me. I didn't want to have to do all the work of, like, going through and deciding what books to use, what order to do them in, sourcing out worksheets for from Teacher Pay Teachers, doing all that work. I wanted that work kind of done for me. So that's what I was looking for. I was talking to my friend and I was like, you know, maybe I just need to create my own and, and you know, set it up, do the work now, and then use it for several years. And then I literally that night, I came across this science chunk from Elemental Science. Now, my, I don't, this is brand new to me. I don't know. I know Elemental Science is a non-religious site or like pro, um, company, meaning they are religious themselves, but they write curriculum that is not religious. So I have heard from Elemental Genius or Elemental Science, they have the Sassafras program, which looks wonderful. But I have heard that like it's even though it says it's non-religious, that there is a pretty like they're presenting um, scientific theories and religious theories on the same level. Um, and so I, I don't want that in my science program. I want, I, so that is not for me. So I have, that's why I haven't ever looked at that program, even though I'm dying to, like I would love to see it. And I might one day just get it and read it for myself and see what I think about from my own opinion. But right now I don't have time for that. So not what I'm looking at to do right now. So I'm a little bit hesitant to use this elemental science um, company because I'm not, 100% sure that it's 100% secular. So I'm throwing that out there. But I do think I'm going to get, because they're not, like you can buy just one chunk and it's not super expensive. And in fact, the bundle, I think for the whole year, um, the, the digital bundle for a whole year is only $30. <laughs> so I'm like, maybe I just go ahead and invest in it, try a few of them out, see what I think, you know, use my own, my own brain to determine what I feel comfortable with. So <clears throat> this is one that I'm, I'm probably kind of leaning towards this, even though I do really love Pandia Presses um, and might be just doing that one. Um, probably chemistry. We kind of seem to be on a, like a chemistry feel here. And so maybe I get that one and I use that one as like my main. And then I try out some of these um, elemental science chemistry focused ones and see what we like, see what we like. So probably where I'm going with that, but not a hundred percent. And then there's always the option of just using these everything notebooks. Um, this one is the middle school one. So middle school science. And then this one is, um, they do also have the high school ones out and they have a chemistry and biology. So the other option is I use these as my spine, um, and create my own. So I don't know where I'm going with this, but, uh, if you have any other, Oh, honorable mentions, um, blossom and root. Great 
program I I've only used their early years but I've like I've seen some of the other ones um, and have always wanted to try them out the problem for me is they only go up to grade five and while that works for like the, my three younger kids it doesn't work for my older kids so I may pick one up and try it out with my younger three and then have my older daughter do something different that might be something that we do um, I'm still looking into it so Blossom and Root is another one that I have on my, my radar. So, you have any other suggestions, I would love for you to let me know down in the comments. While you're down there, I would love for you to subscribe to this channel, ring that notification bell, and give this video a thumbs up. It really does help me to know what kind of content you guys are into and um, help me grow my channel and bring you guys more of this information. If you have any questions about anything that I've shared, I will try to answer them for you. Um, I'd love your input. Have you tried any of these? Which ones did you like? Um, did you? Have you tried the science? I really want to know if somebody has tried these science checks and let me know how secular they really are. So. All that being said, I think that's all I'm going to share with you guys today. Don't forget, you can always follow me over on Instagram at homeschoolology, and I think that's it. So I hope you guys are enjoying this series, and I will talk to you guys again soon. Bye. Can I just make it for you? Thank you. It's beautiful. Okay. Okay.